What's up guys, all you knife bros out there, this is Sean, and let's do a cutting test of 1095 Crovan and 8CR13 MOV. This is a Becker BK2 and this is a Charade FCHF26. I'm going to be cutting some 3 8 uh, Manella rope. This is a great test of a sharp, sharp edge. Uh, both, both of these knives, excuse me, are at similar uh, sharpness. Got a piece of... Uh, paper here. You can see right there both of these knives are very sharp. So the charade does have a slight advantage with this recurve but I'm only going to be using uh, this portion of the knife right here. Alright so let's get some of this rope out. Manila rope is a great test. Uh, the reason why is this stuff is incredibly abrasive. If you guys have never cut manila rope before with your knife, it's a true test of, uh, of wear resistance. And that's what we're going to be testing. There's a lot of people out there say that uh, the 295 will hold an edge better or will wear longer. And that's simply, I feel like that's not true. But this test will definitely be the deciding factor. So let's get this uh, bad boy started. Oh, also, how I sharpened the knives. Uh, the knives were basically uh, finished on white ceramic, and from there they were strothed with Bark River white compound. And so these are what was used to bring them up to the high sharpness level that they're at right now. And without further ado, here we go. So first up, let's start with the Becker BK2. We'll do maybe, uh, let's see, five cuts. Oh yeah, I'm telling you guys, this is actually pretty hard to cut. Look at that. Oof. Two. Oh, geez. Yeah, fairly tough to cut. Let's see if we're still cutting this paper right here. We are, but not as good as before. That was just five cuts with uh, Becker BK2 1095 Crovan. It's pretty soft on the Rockwell. HCR13 is actually a little bit harder at 58. Let's give that a try. Again, I'm only going to be using this front portion of the blade so that the recurve doesn't have any advantage. Just one. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, let's give that a look-see here on the paper. Oh, they, they both, to some degree, have uh, taken some folds at the edge. But it looks to me that the HCR13 MOV has definitely held up better. Let's give it five more cuts and see what happens. So back on the BK2, let's give this a try. Five. Oh yeah, that definitely feels much duller just from that right there. Yeah, we definitely have some blunting issues there. 
That was uh, BK2. Let's switch back to the charade. Yeah, this stuff is really hard to cut. There's one, two, three. I'm telling you guys, I'm putting my full body weight into this. Four. Five. Alright, let's see where HCR 13 MOV is at. Huh. Looks like they're wearing out about the same, actually, to be honest. And guys, that was just 10 cuts in Manila rope. 10 cuts. And it looks like we've definitely worn these edges out some. Let's get a uh, fresh piece of paper. Probably, uh, I've got some thinner paper here. Or actually it looks like it's more of the same stuff. And let's try the HCR 13 MOV. Okay. And now let's try the 1095 Crovan. Really uh, about similar. It looks like and feels like the 1095 is actually a little bit duller. It's actually tearing the paper. It definitely feels like we got a little bit more blunting on the 1095 versus the 8CR13 MOV, but we could see they're actually very similar. I think I'd give a slight edge to 8CR13 MOV when it comes to wear resistance over the, the Becker uh, BK2. You can see there these cuts. So guys, that was only 10 cuts in the Manila rope. Now I'm curious. Uh, let's kind of do a control test here. I've got a knife in uh, ZDP 189. I mean, it, it isn't freshly sharpened. I've uh, carried this for a little bit. And I actually think I got a little microchip here, but you could see just how much sharper this knife is compared to the knives that we just blunted. And let's go ahead and just do 10 cuts in Manila rope with the ZDP 189, just as kind of a control. So. One, much easier. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cuts, and I, I made sure I was drawing them. I wasn't just putting my weight down on there. Uh, feels a little bit blunter. Let's see what we have. And I, again, I just use this tip area here. Definitely lost that ability to, to push cut uh, slightly. It looks like we're still cutting. So yeah, you, there's definitely a lot more wear resistance when it comes to these uh, uh, super steels. Crazy cool. Alright guys, so that was just a quick test of the HCR 13 MOV and the Becker uh, BK2 in 1095 Crovan. I'm going to give the slight edge, like I said, I think to the uh, HCR 13 MOV over the BK2 in the 1095. 
And I'll chalk that up to maybe it having just a little bit more wear resistance with all those uh, chromium carbides in there versus just a slight dash of chromium and it only has a slight dash of vanadium in there. Uh, it's not quite enough to really help with the wear resistance on the 1095. And also we're about two points harder on the uh, HRC scale. This is at 58 and I believe that they hardened this only to 56. So that could also be contributing, but it doesn't seem like it really blows they don't really blow each other out of the water, it seems. It seems it's very, very close. Uh, the ZDP 189 knife right here definitely shows the uh, advantage of a super steel when it comes to wear resistance on this test. Again, this isn't uh, quite edge holding. Edge holding is a, uh, a bunch of different factors, such as the toughness, strength of the edge, all that stuff. Uh, there are different tasks. This is only really testing uh, how well the edge can wear with uh, lots of cutting. The manila rope is very abrasive, abrasive and it uh, is a great test for that stuff. Also curious, let's see how well these knives touch back up on something like a strop here. Because I feel like the 1095 will have that advantage over the 8CR13 MOV. Because I feel like this steel seems to roll more than the uh, 8CR13 MOV which probably just microchips out. go ahead and strop on this one. Sorry guys, I'm actually not counting the, the stropping. So this, is, this really isn't a super scientific test or anything like that. It's almost more just uh, anecdotal, empirical, you know, what you see. Alright, so we'll come back here again. This right here was the HCR 13 MOV. We cut off a piece of that. There was a 1095. And let's try it again. We got 1095. I'll hold it up here. Cutting better, but not as good as it originally was. So that's the 1095. Let's do HCR 13 MOV. And again, it just seems like we were cutting better with the HCR 13 MOV right there. Let's see if we're able to shave now that we stropped it. I don't really have much for arm hair. Use that belly section there. A little bit of arm hair there. Go to the 1095 here. Not quite shaving on that one. All right, let's see if we can bring it back now completely with the white ceramic. All right, again, white ceramic on this guy. Okay, let's get a fresh piece of paper here. here. Okay, that was 1095. Let's try the HCR13 MOV. Hold it up here. And again, it just looks like the HCR13 MOV is just holding uh, a much better edge when it comes to wear resistance. I'm saying much better, but really you, you can see just how much better. It's not an incredible amount, but it is enough to notice there's just some cleaner cutting going on than the 1095. I'll show the 1095 one more time here. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like it's it's obvious that we have 10 cuts in manila rope and the HCR13 MOV has held up better. So the stainless is definitely more wear resistant than the carbon steel. So there we go. Just a short test for you guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Take care.